Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to continue with our lead sound. Um, a few things that I'm going to do, I'm going to change this around a little bit. I'm going to change the matrix down to 1 8 So it's now going half the speed of the rest of um, the tempo, or the tempo of the track. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move down the envelope a little. Once you have a sound that you like, um, one of the one of the problems with the matrix is that as it stands right now, it's monophonic. It's only playing a single note. Um, so we're going to keep this as a lead. Um, and first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of different um, lead patterns. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use a few different matrices and a few copies to create notes. Um, so let's start off by doing that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, copy this pattern then I'm going to go into pattern bank 2 and then I'm going to paste the pattern I'm going to go into bank 3 I'm going to paste the pattern again go into bank 4 I'm going to paste the pattern one more time so we've now got four patterns on here um, let's go back to number 2 and as we're playing it we're going to alternate so we're going to hit um, control P to alternate the pattern until we like what we hear and we might change up a couple of got a couple of different um, lead patterns. Now what I'm going to also do is go into number five and I'm just going to actually, this is going to be used for our chords, but before we can do that, um, since the matrix is monophonic, meaning it only plays one voice at a time, we need to find a trick to play th three notes, let's say, for a chord. So the easiest way to do that is to copy, um, hold down the shift key, select your Thor, and then select the matrix as well by holding your shift key down right click and duplicate your devices and do it again duplicate your devices one more time so now you got three instances okay and what you can do um, since you're also gonna have to control this bandwidth parameter on all three you're gonna have to go back up into your programmer go into the Thor copy uh, go back down select um, the bandwidth for all three of those Okay, and we're also going to call this sync bandwidth mod. And I'm going to delete the labels from the other ones. Okay, so now all of them are going to be playing at the same time, but since they're all playing the same notes, you're not going to hear any difference. It's all going to be the same. But as soon as you start doing this, Okay, 
that's going to be our first line here. And we're also going to stop this for a second. I'm going to put a couple of tie notes in. I'm going to actually delete out um, not these, but I'm going to add in a tie note there. Bring a tie note down there. Um, I'm also going to bring this down. Um, the other trick with tie notes, you don't actually have to use this. Just hold your shift key down and you'll create a tie note um, there. So let's just play around with some of these and see how that sounds. Okay, good enough for now. So now what I can do is take this pattern, copy it, copy pattern, go back down in the second one on number five, and I'm going to paste the pattern in there. Also going to do the same, well, actually I'll wait, I'll wait till I do that. Now let's run both of these two together and see if they mesh. And what you can do is you can change a few notes around. I know I probably suck at doing notes, but hey, you know. Bring that up there. Let's bring this down here. Okay, so now let's keep that as is. And let's copy this pattern. And let's put it into this one to the number five slot here. We'll paste that pattern in there. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do control P and I'm going to change it around a little bit. So now if we run all three of these, um, and actually before I do that, it would have been helpful if I actually put the audio back up into here. Otherwise you're really not hearing much of anything with those notes. Okay, so now we've got the audio going out. Um, we will close up the Thors because we don't really need to see the Thors anymore. Okay, and now we can play all three of these. And it sounds god-awful. So copy from uh, the second one copy the pattern, put it into the third one, paste the pattern, and now what I'm going to do is something very simple. Let's put this down here. Actually, let's... do this. Okay, and let's run that one. So that's how you get chords out of uh, Reason using the matrix. So now, what can we do with this? Well, um, to create the chords, or to have the chords running, what you can do is you can automate all three of these. Edit automation, edit automation, and we're also going to automate the pattern button on all three of these. Or on, sorry, you can edit, automate the pattern button on two of them. So, over here, what you've got is you've got the copy one, copy two, and the original matrix. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a pattern select for two bars. And let me see, that's pattern select. Okay. Now, if we want the course to run, all three of these have to be at pattern five. OK, 
Okay, and if we want, the select is going to be on for all of them. Um, let's just go back in here for a second. Let's clear the automation. Let's clear the automation here. What we want is we want this to be in an off state by default. So edit the automation, edit the automation, and over here we will go in and we will create one on the first one where the situation is it's going to be on. Okay. And now we're just going to copy this down here. So at this point, when we go back, the pattern is going to be on. So that's if we want this is going to be our um, this is going to be our chord progression. Now let's do another thing and let's write in a new sequence, and we'll just do it um, two bars long, I guess. And this is going to be a one. So let's select all of these. And you can change the color all at once. So that's going to be our um, chord progression. And then this is going to be our lead track, which is going to play. Um, so when you play it, this is playing chords. And this is just going to play the lead. And you can go back and forth between the lead and um, the chords that way. Uh, let's just do pattern two here, change the color of that. Let's do another pattern here. This is going to be pattern three. And this we will do two. And this is going to be pattern four. Uh, let's take this. Let's put a new color on it. Take this one, put a new color on that. OK, so this is going to be your lead. So now what you can do is let's switch this up a little bit. Let's move this all the way over here. Let's move these over a little bit. Let's move that like that. And we will move this. We will copy it over here. So now you've got two areas where there's a chord progression, and you've got um, one, two, three, four areas where there is a lead. And that's all there is to it. And this is how it sounds so far. Okay, so that's um, that's the next step into creating our song. Um, the other thing we can do is we can, let me just see if I have enough time here. Well, I don't have enough time right now, but in the next uh, tutorial where I continue with this idea, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what the BPM of the song is going to be, and um, maybe we'll start on doing some pads as well. So thanks for watching. Come visit me again. Um, I'm Rob, and my site is reason101.net, and I'll keep continuing trying to create this song out of nothing but matrixes and different sounds in Reason. Thanks for watching.